So let's do the usual here and create a new C sharp script. I'm going to call mine how to parameter. Open up your script. And in this case, I'm not going to be using the update function. So next, what we want to do is create a few public variables of type int. I'm going to call mine, my number, Juan, my number, two, and you guessed it, my number 18. Once you've finished typing all the names of your int variables out, head down to the start function. In the start function, let's be creative because we're all creative people here and name your function something cool, like I did. You'll probably notice that we are plugging the my number one and my number two variables into the parentheses of the add my number two together now please function. Those are called arguments. I like to think of putting these variables inside a trebuchet for later use when I'm ready to fire. Let us create our add my number together now please function. And let's get ready to see exactly what kind of problems we're going to have. Now that Visual Studio Code isn't being a spastic, we can now continue learning as we were. Yeah, man, love the next thing we're going to do is declare a new int called my result, and my result is going to be equal to my first number result plus my second number result. You'll probably notice that my first number result and my second number result aren't anywhere. Where do I find them? When we flip back over to Unity, you'll see four errors on this particular script. Oh no, oh no, what do I do now? Well, for starters, at least they're not null reference exceptions. To fix this, we need to add my first number result and my second number result as ints, as parameter variables in our function. Take a look at the beautifully clean console now. All errors are gone as of right now. Don't forget about stupid Pegboy here. Move him out of the way. And let's not be a ding dong and forget to stop the game while you move stuff around. Now we take a look at the console and we see that we get two zeros. Why? Because we have all zeros in our variable slots in the inspector. Do take note that all of the variables we declared as public 
show, shall I say, return zero as we previously saw in the inspector. The beautiful thing about doing it this way is, you guessed it, we can reuse the script and change the variables each time. Maybe you got enemy A and enemy B.